Live pack nano, in addition to the fat soluble things, does have some water soluble things uh, in it, uh, vitamins. Uh, a, D, E, and K are uh, fat soluble, the others are water soluble, like vitamin C, and so they have to be taken twice a day. And that that's why they're taken twice. That's mm -hmm. why they're taken twice a day, because of their water solubility. And this just shows you an absorption example. Vitamin B6 is one of those that's water soluble, and this just shows the peak levels and why you do it twice a day. Uh, this is uh, data on uh, the first 18 million or so scans. Uh, I now tell people we must be at about 20 million. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting. The bell, these are, this is a U.S. study, and the um, bell curve peaks at about 24 to 25,000. The average are, is a little bit higher than that because the slope on the end of the bell curve to the right goes out further. Mm -hmm. And although this is where we see everybody, this is where we want to be. And right now, only about 1% of us are up there. And I'll tell you something very particular about why that's important. But what is interesting here, and I'll show some studies in a minute, is that with the scanner, all of this was proven in uh, both directions. So they took people who didn't smoke and did smoke and looked at their scan score and the smokers had lower scores. They looked at obese people and skinny people and compared them and it's exactly what you see here. Those who ate more fruits and vegetables, those who ate less. And I don't care when somebody tells me they eat nine fruits or vegetables a day, I look them in the eye and say, I just, you're, you're the first person in the world that's ever done that. There's just, I right, can't, right. if you do exactly. that, your stomach is huge. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. You just can't, can't do it. I can't do it. And these are some of the things that I was talking about. This just was further validation of the scanner, not with the live pack, but just with fruits and vegetables consumption. And you can see how it, the score goes up when you eat more. This is a life pack thing and shows what the life pack does. And it's interesting too, if you'll notice here, 27 to 32, that's really not much for the vegetables. 19 to 33, you know, that's like a 60 to 75 percent rise with life pack. This is another validation study, just a double line study showing the effect of placebo versus life pack on 1,750 people, I think it is. And what study was this? This is one actually done in Utah. These were employees and family members and people around. Uh, these are examples from my practice uh, that just shows uh, what can happen. The blue is before they started on the life pack, and the red is after two months. Um, the uh, notable one, uh, SP, is a lady that uh, walks almost every single day. She was assured that she had a wonderful diet. She was close to her ideal BMI, and she knew that she was going to scan really high, and when she scanned less than 45, she was a little bit disturbed. And two months later, she was up at 60, which is what you would expect. Mm -hmm. uh, GH is a smoker. Uh, I'm sorry, JL is a smoker. Mm -hmm. um, which one is your nurse? GH, which one is the nurse? I didn't put them up here. Oh, okay. No. But I thought you that's these, are, these, are, these are practice these are people. people. These yeah. are not yeah. okay. I can't tell these you are not these employees. Yeah. No, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you, know, I your you don't know them. <laughs> oh, okay. There's no J-O up there. <laughs> uh, G-H is an interesting lady. I've known her for a long time. I love her. She's sweet. She had a terrible, terrible cancer um, 11 years ago, and she really was afraid that she was going to die because it was a really bad cancer, and mm -hmm. she didn't, and She's read and tried to do everything that she can do mm -hmm. to avoid recurrence. And she had read about antioxidants and breast cancer and some of the data I'll show. I think it's because it was on Dr. Oz's show. You know, he had this too. Mm -hmm. And he was specifically looking at breast cancer recurrence. Well, she came in and she scanned at 11,000 and she sat in the chair and she looked at me and she said, am I gonna die today? That's my exact question. Mm -hmm. What do you tell people that scan mm -hmm. at 10,000 not at all. What do you I, tell I say, no, you're not. You're not going to die. We're going to help you out. You're going to do the life pack, and I explain it to them, and you're going to do the G3, and you're going to do the T-Green, and you're going to come back, and your score is going to be up. She came back exactly 60 days later and scanned at uh, 36. Wow. wow. And she's still going, probably. And she uh, 
um, was going to be, she wants to be a distributor. She just hasn't kind of gotten there yet. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. What she, she, a great she story. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it really is. These are just other examples. Uh, JP is a good example of somebody who more than doubled in two months. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, DP is an interesting example because she uh, was uh, taking the little sachet pack, and this obviously was my fault, and she was taking the five pills out and taking them in the morning and taking the two pills out and taking them oh. in the evening. Uh -huh. And she gained about 10 pounds, and so she came in she and she went down. So the, this is the learning lesson for me there. The only people knock on wood, that I've seen have gone down have either done it wrong or had something else happen to them. Mm -hmm. So I said, let's take two of these packs of that. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, okay, fine, okay. I didn't. But let's do it this way now. <laughs> and saying. so she came back in one month, and the white is her one month gain oh, wow. uh, from doing that. Now, <clears throat> this is one of the things that's personal to me. Uh, and there are two papers I'm going to show you that have to do with breast cancer. Uh, this is uh, published in uh, 2012 uh, uh, mm -hmm. in the Journal of Clinical Nutrition. And there is a group called the American Institute of Cancer Research and the World Cancer Research Fund. And they are about 100 different scientists that sit around and read papers. They found 24 publications that dealt with breast cancer risk and carotenoid levels. Now, in this particular paper, they separated out whether people said how much vegetable was in their diet and people who had the carotenoid level drawn in their blood. When people said how much they ate, they got no benefit. So obviously, like House says, turn that off for a second. 